द ग्रेटेस्ट वेल्थ इज आवर हेल्थ हेलो एवरीबडी वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल आई एम योर फ्रेंड्स बेटी हाउ आर यू ऑल आई होप यू ऑल आर फाइन एंड स्टेइंग एट योर होम इन दिस पैंडमिक सिचुएशन वी शुड स्टे एट आवर हाउसेज एंड आई होप एवरीथिंग विल बी फाइन वेरी सून टूडे वील डिस्कस अबाउट सेल it is a vast chapter so we will cover it in two or three different videos okay before we start we have to understand something let's start with a house house means a building right a building comprised of so many rooms right and each room consists of four wall a ceiling and a floor right now if we take a single wall then it is comprised of bricks okay okay i know it is not only bricks sand cement is also required but only for some time just think a wall is made up of bricks only okay if a wall is made up of bricks only then we can say brick a single brick is the structural smallest structural unit of the building just like that cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of our body okay let me explain a group of cell forms tissue a group of tissue forms organ and all organs together form the whole organism like us so here we found that the smallest unit is cell so we can say cell is the smallest structural and functional unit now we have to know who first discovered cell in 1665 an english scientist named robert hook who first discovered cell he observed a piece of cork slice under his primitive microscope and he found some small small hexagonal shape like beehives he called it as cell so we can say robert hook discovered dead cell right because he discovered it from a piece of cork which is dead right now a question may arise in your mind that if robert hook discovered dead cells then who discovered live cells there was an another scientist named anton von leeuwenhoek who discovered living cells in 1838 and 1839 two scientists sladen and swan explained cell theory now you may ask what is cell theory so cell theory was comprised of few statements like all living organisms are made up of cells cell is the structural and functional unit of our body and the last one all cells arise from pre existing cells okay do you know which is the smallest cell in the world that is mycoplasma it is about 10 micrometer in size and the largest cell is an egg cell of ostrich now you know that which is the largest cell and which is the smallest cell in the world right but do you know which is the smallest cell and largest cell in human body the smallest cell in human body is male gamete or sperm and the largest cell is female ovum now tell me which is the longest cell in human body do you know that the longest cell is the nerve cell or neuron 
all cells consist of three parts in common no matter what kind of cell they are that is cytoplasm cell membrane and genetic material or dna okay there are two broad categories of cells first one is prokaryotic cell and the second one is eukaryotic cell we will discuss about it in any other video okay now let's talk about cell membrane what is cell membrane cell membrane is the covering of the cell we have seen that when we go to the market and buy something the vendor gives us everything in a carry bag right the bag holds everything cell membrane is just like that carry bag it encloses everything means cytoplasm cell organelles dna everything enclosed by cell membrane and cell membrane is found in animal cell and plant cell means it is present in both cells okay cell membrane is made up of proteins have you ever noticed when we buy any heavier item then it cannot be carried in that single carry bag it needs more support so we use one more carry bag there right just like that some cells need more support so they have an extra covering outside the cell membrane this extra covering is known as cell wall it is only present in plant cells why why it is only present in plant cell because plants can't move here and there like us or like any other animal right they stand straight so they need more support they need more strength cell wall gives them the strength and mechanical support okay cell wall is non living and made up of cellulose inside the cell membrane there is a jelly like substance do you like jelly that jelly like substance is known as cytoplasm inside the cytoplasm many small small structures are embedded in it these small structures have different different functions also these tiny structures are known as cell organelles some cell organelles are mitochondria which is known as powerhouse of the cell nucleus which is known as brain of the cell ribosome which is known as protein factory of the cell and lysosome which is known as suicide bag of the cell in addition to this some other cell organelles are golgi body endoplasmic reticulum plastid etc if you want a detailed video in this topic means in cell organelles then please comment down if you are interested then i'll make a new video on cell organelles okay and thanks for watching if you like this video then please give a big thumbs up and if you are new in this channel please subscribe my channel and hit that bell icon thank you all love you bye bye